Ooh, hello there, my fellow Scars. Good times, Oscar here, and welcome back to Planet Coaster. And as you can see, our park is starting to take form. We have our layout and our ride starting to be assembled. We have our pirate ride, which I think came out actually pretty cool. We've got some people in the queue. We have some decorational details, and oh my gosh, we have a pirate. Oh my gosh, I've never seen <gasps> He just shot a gun. This is incredible. The best game ever. I have not seen this guy yet. That is so cool. Oh, hello. I don't know what that is. Um, move over there. Anyway, my friends, let's start getting over here. And as you can see, this area of the park really needs some work. We need the landscaping and some theme and all of those good things. As you can see, these queues need expanding and all sorts of good things. But in today's episode, we're going to start out with a roller coaster and we're going to start to get that all settled and ready to go and you might be wondering for yourself as you're playing along sky but how do you get the roller coaster it's grayed out i can't access it well this is how you do it go to your buildings here and go over to search all right did you find it now click on it and go under construction no space hit enter or something along those lines and you've got it my friends you'll have your coasters ready to roll because that's where we're going to start now so what we're going to do is we're going to pick between i don't know let's go with this one let's go to the arrows this one just reminds me of a theme park um you know a business that helped the disney studio create disneyland back in 1955 um actually it was a little bit before that but anyway looking good and there we go we've got our first structure built and ready to roll and as you can see this is our basic infrastructure here so what we can work with is our chain lift and of course the chain lift is how we get a roller coaster car up the hill and then we let gravity do the rest and then of course boosters are how we kind of artificially thrust a roller coaster car forward and then of course um oh, that's brakes that is a booster so boosters how we artificially you know move a, a roller coaster car and then brakes are how we actually slow it down so that's how we work um and then over here we have our length of the track so as you can see we can extend it out look at that super cool and then of course angles and cameras and all that good stuff this is how we actually expand it now if we want to start to you know manipulate the track this is how we do it super de duper simple so we can kind of twirl it and all sorts of good stuff like that and then we can rotate it and i kind of actually want to make sure that's straight when we actually start doing this because we can't actually make a chain lift be um you know crooked like that anyway here we go so what we're going to do now is we're just going to start our uh, our ascent going upwards like this and then we're going to pull this like that and we're going to do it at a slight angle there we go not too crazy not too crazy at all but there we go so like i was saying aero development was something that uh was an organization i think it was carl and ed were kind of the main guys there and they helped kind of get all the early rides started because the walt disney company was artists they didn't have like the manufacturing and engineering and all that stuff so they required that you'll not really hear a lot about those guys um in like disney history or anything along those lines you know disney kind of wants to take credit for all that they also helped develop the matterhorn which was the first tubular steel roller coaster um ever and i think it was actually one of the first right if it wasn't the first it was definitely close was the first ride that actually put multiple cars on the ride at the same time instead of just you know one car going out one car load and as that car came back then the other one would go up but there was multiple cars moving throughout the ride at the same time anyway my friends let's get started so as you can see we are at the top and what we're going to do is we're going to start angling downward okay so we're just going to make a really simple roller coaster this isn't too crazy we don't want to get wild with it we just going to kind of get started a little bit so i'm going to i'm going to make that a little steeper so that's a little more suspenseful kind of like how we did for the skyland roller coaster and there we go my friends we are descending look at this look at this angle of attack I love it. I love it. So there we go. So now what we're going to do is I want to extend this out a little bit. So I'm going to extend that out to about 12 once again. And I'm going to back off maybe one block like that. And now I'm going to start to angle this like so, so that we can have a gentle slope down. Nothing too jarring. There we go. And how are we doing so far? I think what we could do is actually back that off just ever so slightly more. And we can we can do one more. I wasn't sure if we could or not, but I think we can. I think we can and we will. There we go. And then, oh, hello, you're starting to angle kind of funny. Mm, it's a little bit of a sharp um, angle, but I think it'll be okay because I actually don't think most of the G-Force ratings are even in the game yet, but we're going to try to keep this as, we want it to be fairly, fairly accurate. So I'll bring this upwards like this, and my idea is once we get up to here, we do kind of a curve, and we can really make it go all sorts of fancy directions once we kind of get our main lift hill done, and then we get our drop and our secondary drop built up. I think that'd be really super cool. So as you can see, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start bringing this downwards. Um, how do we do this? Let's actually extend this out a little bit more like that. There we go. And then I'm gonna bring this down. Let's bring it down to here. 
and then I'm gonna bring it down like that. And now I'm gonna confirm that this isn't higher than this hill. It would be really great if there was actually some numbers associated to see how much elevation you did have, but there's not. There we go. So then I'm gonna bring this down like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to curve it. That's right, we're gonna curve this. Let's just see how we can even make this uh, become a thing. Um, let's do like a roll. Let's just see, oh, hello. Um, you're not what I, oh my gosh, that looks incredibly fun, but I don't actually know how to, um, oh, this might be what we want. Let's see how this works um oh look at that that looks cool see how it kind of flows down here does a little twisty twirl and then drops down like that um i don't think that's exactly what we want but kind of awesome i kind of think that's pretty awesome um so i'm gonna cut this piece down i'm gonna angle this one down like that i'm gonna give it a slight rotation this way I'm going to pull it that way like that. And there we go, my friends. Look at that. I, I've never actually been on a roller coaster that had like a curve like that. I've always wanted to go and it's like a fighter jet. Um, I think that would be really fun. I've actually, you know, like I said, never been on one like that. But I bet it is a good time. All right. Um, let's see. Let's see. I've actually never really been on any really wild roller coasters, if you will. Let's see. I wanted to make sure this goes somewhat straight. So why don't I do another block? like that but then this one's the one where we curve it yes there we go that's what we want and then we'll just give that just a little rotate and i'm going to pull you up just a little bit and then i just want to kind of get a bird's eye view let's see how did we do how did we do this is literally my second roller coaster so bear with me on this a little bit just want to make sure everything's lined up and it's not bad like i don't think that's bad our first roller coaster just kind of learning the controls i just wanted to do a quick one beforehand and just kind of basically learn the controls so I'm going to take this one. I'm going to give it just a little more of an angle downward like that. Now I'm going to, hello, you're not supposed to do that. I'm going to pull you straight like that and then bring you back up like that. There we go. Making sure that's, uh, I wish there was a way of knowing if you did have any rotation. Like if this was like yellow on either end and when you go green, it's like straight. That would be cool. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to straighten this out just a little bit like that. And then, then I'm going to bring it up like that. Bring it out just a little bit more like that. There we go. And then pull this up like that. Oh, there we go. That's the fighter jet ride that I've always wanted to do these like curves like that. Haha, <laughs> that'd be really fun. Um, this is way too long. So let's pull this back a little bit. There we go. And then let's pull this upwards. So we'll start moving this upwards. What are your thoughts on swooping the roller coaster back around this way? And then maybe a loop or two and back into the station. I think that would be super duper awesome. So let's do it. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, hello. Can we do this? Can we do this? Do we have enough? Is this a little too high? All right, so what I'm going to do, I really want to do that. Um, uh, I don't know. I shouldn't do that because I don't know the quite the size and if it's going to make the roller coaster crash. And Because this, like I said, is only our second roller coaster. So we're not going to get too wild. We're not going to get too wild in this particular one. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I want to make this start that angle words like that. I'm going to bring it this way like so. And now I'm going to pull it upwards and then I'm going to give it that little bit more length. There we go. Pull that up like that. I'm gonna give it just an extra little angle. There we go. Pull that upwards and then make sure we're not going over this lift tail. Perfect, perfect, awesome. Right over there like that. And then now we're going to bring this, let's see if I'm pulling the right button. Let's see, let's zoom in here. Don't worry, we got this, don't worry. I know what you're thinking, Scar, you just failed. But I, I got this, I got this. It's got this, this is my thing, this is my thing. All right, okay, there we go. That's what we want and then we wanna bring this down like that. I'm going to zoom out just ever so slightly, pull that back, zoom this inward just a little bit like, hmm, I want this to be straight. Okay, is that straight? Can you tell me if that's straight or not? I'm not 100% sure. I do want this to be like that. I'm still learning the controls, so, so that's why I keep throwing my camera around. There we go. Pull that like that. And okay, it needs to be rotated just a little more. There we go. That's it. Success, my friends. There we go. Looking good. And we don't have any block breaks. Um, so I'm not sure what the deal is with that. So I don't know how many cars we can actually have on the track at one time, but there we go. That is, that is exciting. That's looking really good. So as you can see, we've got the kind of the slope going up this way and that way. So now what we want to do is take this way and we want to go that way and then around and back into the station. I think that will look really, really cool. So let's do it. So we're going to pull this one downwards like that. So what is the biggest roller coaster you guys have been on? For me, like I said, I haven't been on a lot of crazy roller coasters. Um, I would probably say the most wild roller coaster I've ever really been on was at, um, let's see, I'm gonna pull this, pull this back just a little bit, and then I'm going to take this one, I'm gonna start angling it down ever so slightly. I'm gonna pull this outwards like though, and then I'm going to take this and move it that way, 
and then I'm gonna move you down. Ooh, am I gonna do that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. That is what we want. And then we're gonna pull this one like that. It was actually Ghost Rider. I think it's Ghost Rider, I would say. Ghost Rider at Knott's Berry Farm in California. That's a pretty that's a pretty decent uh, wooden roller coaster. That's probably maybe one of the more wild roller coasters. I know it's not the most crazy one in the world, but um, it was pretty good. California Screaming's not bad either at, um, at California Adventure at Disneyland. Oh, I love this. I love these curves. Kind of flow down here and fly up there and then swoop back around like that. Oh, I love it. All right. Um, let's see. Let's take this one and we're just going to pull this back this way. So we're going to go straight and then we're going to rotate it back forward like that. And now we're going to take this one downwards just a little bit more like that and then build this upwards. And now we're going to pull this back like that. And now I just want to make sure that this is straight. So I'm going to pull that. I'm going to cut this back one more time. I'm going to straighten this out fully straight. Uh, is this fully straight? This is when a grid system, just a little grid system on the ground, just to help you make sure everything is kind of the way you want it, would be super beneficial. So that, I believe, is actually straight. Mm, I don't know. So I'm going to continue to play with this for a second and uh, try to get this kind of, I want this to kind of curve downwards and then swoop over here and then back kind of towards the station. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in just a minute. I want to kind of catch my breath, play with this, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So I actually technically have done nothing. I've reversed all the work that I did, just kind of playing with this a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going, this is where we left off, and we're going to pull this right there. See how we're now straight, and now I'm going to angle this backwards like that. Beautiful. And then keeping to make sure that is continued, continued our straight trajectory downwards like so. And then we're going to angle that down just a little more like that. And then I'm going to start to angle this. I'm going to start moving this back just a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And I'm going to bring that like that. And then we're going to cut this one up like that. Let's see. Let's make this go down. Let's pull this back just a little bit more like that. There we go. There. There's our swoop. That's what we want. Beautiful, wonderful. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> I like clicking those because they just come up with some like wild and exaggerated turn. And eventually we'll do those. Eventually we'll get to those. Um, and it'll be really fun, but we're not going to do those yet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this out. We're going to swoop this over here just a little bit more. Pull that upwards like that and then start our way over here. And then we're going to give that just an angle like that. Um, that's a pretty good angle. What do you guys think? Let's zoom in here. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Then we'll pull that like that. Now in this one, we're going to start bringing this down just a little bit. And then I'm going to take this one and pull that. Hmm, let's see. Pull this like... See, let's go like that and then I'm gonna stick this out just a little more like that there we go that's what we want my friends all right are you kind of feeling like a loop I'm kind of feeling like a loop at this point so what we can do is we can kind of bring this back together like that there we go and then I'm gonna pull this one over here like this I don't want this to go upwards no 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 you you're gonna go over here like that and you're gonna start going that way and you're gonna go straight there we go and now I want this to hmm. So how are we doing so far? Let's just take a little look. So the big loop or the big drop kind of comes through here. We go upwards. We go swooping around like that down this way and around. Um, so yeah, kind of a simple setup, but it's kind of effective, I guess. Um, I want to do a loop. Um, this could be a good place to put brakes after we do our test and adjust. Um, so we could put our brakes here. If that is something that we need to do, we can do brakes right here. Um, so this is kind of that one spot in the roller coaster where you kind of catch your breath for like a split second. Um, before it goes nuts again. So what we're gonna do from here is that no <laughs> See, I just like pulling these out of my hat like look at this <laughs> Okay, but we're not gonna do that. Sorry. Um, so I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna go like that I'm gonna bring this over like that and I'm gonna turn you over give you just a little rotate There we go bring that down and let's see bring that over to here. Hello. No, 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 no you crazy You're gonna go over here like that now I'm gonna make sure you are straight because you need to make sure you're straight at this point. There we go. Awesome, awesome. And then we're gonna bring that like that forward. Now it's time to click that loop tab, bring up our first loop. And as you can see, the height of this loop, I don't know, my friends, are we gonna make it? Are we gonna have enough power through this little curve over here and down and up? That is the question, but we'll only find that out once we go to test and adjust. So I think that's good. So I'm gonna place that down like that. So I'll place that down and hello, no, you silly. I'm not going to make another one of these. I see you want me to make two of those. I'm not going to. No, go away. <laughs> go away. There you go. All right. Um, I'm going to go like that. There we go. 
And then let's bring this upwards like that. And we're almost back to the station, it looks like. So we'll just bring that up like that. We'll have a small little bunny hill like so. There we go. And I kind of miss going on roller coasters. I haven't been on a roller coaster in quite, quite some time. Um, not not the safest thing, I suppose, for me right now. You know, in my current state, uh, to go on a big roller coaster, unfortunately. But um, maybe someday. I can go on, a, like, Cars, Cars Land at um, California Adventure. Like, that's... Oh, hello. My camera just got excited. Um, it got excited when I mentioned Cars Land. Um, there we go. Bring this. Hmm, I don't like this rabbit hill. This little bunny hill is not coming out how I want it. Um, I just want this one to be a little bit smaller than the other one, for obvious reasons. There we go. Ah, there we go. That's how we want it. And now we're going to swoop this bad boy back into this station here. So we're going to put that right there. And yeah, so that's kind of a, you know, it's not the big, it's not a roller coaster, but it's like, you know, it's got a little bit of a thrill to it at the end. So that's nice. Um, so we put that right there. And now what we're going to do is start bringing this one outwards like that. Give it a little of a rotate. And then I want to extend it out. We can do that, and now we can start bringing these back. Okay, so we're going to need to make these quite a bit. We're going to have to bring it like that. There we go. So will we make it into the station? That is a good question, my friends. That is a good question. Uh, with our first roller coaster here, I want to make this somewhat successful. Somewhat successful is kind of our... So I'm actually going to back these off. They're not that much of a rotation, so I'm going to give it just a little more. Let me give that just a little more. Just a little more. There we go. And then I'm going to pull this a little more like that. There we go. Looking good. Get that just that extra little curve. And then are we making it into the station? That is a good question. That is a good question. That's when a grid knight is always handy just to make sure you're kind of lined up and ready to roll. Um, There we go. Put that right there. Come on. Oh, are we make it. Wait, where are we going? There we go. Are we in? Are we in? I think we're in. There we go. Apparently we built it. Apparently. Anyway. Um... Let's uh, let's close this out. Let's grab this panel back open, and uh, yeah, come on. I want to make my station. I want to make my station. See, things are just a little bit finicky here and there. There we go. So where's our entrance? Hmm. Can we do an entrance over here? Doesn't look like there's any room to walk along here. Anyway, it looks like we can. So I'm gonna place one right there, and then I'm gonna take my exit and I'm gonna place it down here. Come on, come on, my friend. There you go. And then take this out like so. Oh no, we already did that. We need this. So now we take this, and as you can see, we're going to have a slight elevation, so we're going to need to bring this down. So we're going to hit shift, I think. I think it's shift. Yeah, there it is. Beautiful. So now we can bring that downwards, and I don't want anything too crazy. We're not going to do anything wild for the queue. Just a small switch back, I think, will be perfectly fine. Um, I don't even know if this ride works, and we're already making the queue, probably getting the flyers out, letting the townspeople know that the roller coaster is now complete. Uh, debug. Hello, debug. Um, what are you all up to? I don't know what you're up to, but go away. Um, I need, I need you back. I need you in my life. <laughs> I need you back in my life. Where, where did that, where did that, where did our little panel go? Thank you. Thank you. You tried to get away from me. I saw that. But I'm not going to take offense. Um, put this right about in there and looking good. Okay, awesome. And then I'm going to grab out my key one more time and make sure I kind of connect this properly. There we go. Come on. You don't give me trouble like you did yesterday. Don't give me that trouble. Don't give me that trouble. We're going to move this guy over here like that. There we go. Awesome. I mean, we're, we're, we're learning, my friends. We are learning. We're learning slowly but surely. All right. So I'm going to let the day come back to us, and then we're going to ride this ride. All right. And welcome back. And as you can see, the roller coaster is looking super awesome. So let's zoom in here. And as you can see, people are starting to assemble. And what we're going to do here is we're in the debug menu of this. So I click this, and then it looks like from here we can add a train. So we can add a train. Oh, look at that. The safety uh, restraints pulled up. Um, add cars. Like, I would like to add a couple extra cars. One, two. Okay, yeah, it is three. So I would like to add, like, an extra car on the back. But add another train. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Beautiful, wonderful, awesome. Now we can click start. Oh, let's open the ride. Oh, <gasps> it's going. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait for me. No, no. <laughs> no, wait for me. Wait for Scar. Wait for Scar. No, no. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> it took off without us. All right, my friends, we're just going to have to watch this for a second. Are we only letting one person on at a time? <laughs> I am the management here, and I declare this train to be taken off immediately. That person just cut in front of all those people. I saw it. No, no, there goes another one. That one in the sweater. 
just cut in front of all of those other people. Oh my gosh, I saw you. And when I get off this train, I am kicking you out of the park. You don't cut in front of all of those people. I, I saw that, I saw that, I didn't appreciate that. Oh, oh, now we're going. Aha, you thought you could cut in front, but look at us, we're already going. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Look, they're excited in the front of the train. We have all these empty seats, why didn't we fill it up? This is not good park efficiency, my friends. This is not good park efficiency right there. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> we need some epic music playing. That's right, we need some epic music playing. That would make this uh, a little more suspenseful, if you will. Um, I bet there is park speakers. That would be awesome because there are park lights. I saw those earlier. Oh no, here we go. Gotta be in the back, of course. Any good roller coaster ride, you always gotta be right in the back. The front has its moments, but the back is where it's at. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh man, in Roller Coaster 1, all I wanted to do was ride the actual roller coaster. And look at this. Time progressed a little bit, and we got something like that. Oh, this is awesome. Not like the greatest roller coaster of all time, but look at this. It's, it's pretty cool for our very, very first real roller coaster. <gasps> Woohoo! There we go. Over the bunny hills. There we go. Woohoo! A big swoop back into the station, and there we go, my friends. Hopefully, you enjoyed our very first roller coaster, and I told you guys these two cut. <laughs> oh, there we go, my friends. That is our first roller coaster. Hopefully, you enjoyed. And until next time, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later.